All right, so uh, hey guys, for those who don't know me, my name is Renato Ramos and I'm currently a junior majoring in aerospace engineering with a minor in mathematics. Uh, quickly, before I get started into my whole speech, I wanna say thank you to those who nominated me for webmaster and for believing in my ability to fill such a role and also good luck to everyone else who is running for an e-board position. Next, I'd like to discuss about my involvement in the club. I have currently been a ship member for over two years now during my first year as a member, I led a workshop at the Science Day Outreach event and helped with the planning and running of some of the fundraising events that happened during that year. However, this past year, due to living away from Tucson and other time conflicts, I've only been able to attend the general body meeting and some of the other committee meetings via Zoom. Uh, in addition, during my time as a SHIP member, I've grown a love for what SHIP stands for and represents and for the ability they have to make us SHIP members feel right at home. These past two years, SHIP and its eboard members have shown me the importance of providing a place where its members are put in a position to excel and grasp new opportunities. This is why I decided to accept my nomination as webmaster, and I believe that I have the skills to fill such a role and keep these traditions going. For example, as being webmaster and being in charge of creating flyers, I've previous experience in creating many flyers for the SIE grad program since I work directly under the SIE grad advisor and have also created even more flyers as a mentor lead for the Catapult Engineering Success Program. With my previous work experience and involvement as a peer mentor lead, I feel as if I have gained valuable skills and knowledge regarding the importance of working as a team and communicating with others. Furthermore, when it comes to controlling social media as webmaster, I am familiar with most, if not all of the ship media platforms, such as Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and the Ship UA website. I would also then make it my responsibility to attend all of our outreach events and general body meetings so I can obtain great videos and pictures to post onto our social media platforms. Furthermore, with regards to the t-shirt design, I'll let my fellow ship members create their own desired designs and run a pool to decide which one to move forward with. In addition to the webmaster duties, I also plan on working closely and diligently with the future eboard members and provide any assistance wherever I can. With that being said, if I were to get elected as a new ship webmaster, here are some of the things I personally would like to add and change. First, if we are able to have our outreach events next year in person, I would like to focus on recording videos of such events and uploading them to our Facebook page. This is because since our Facebook is mostly filled with alumni and other industry people, this would turn into a great opportunity to show them that we are still keeping their traditions going and that our sponsors' generous donations are not going to waste. Another thing I would like to add to our social media platforms is to spotlight our ship members of the month, which is based off the point system our secretary introduced this year. I feel as if giving that member a featured post in our social media would greatly improve their own network with industry workers since we have many of them following our social medias. The last thing I would like to add as a webmaster is to int int not introduce, but produce more ship swag Things like sweaters, joggers, polos, and lanyards, and even cups are all things I'd like to add. But of course, I'll also be open to suggestions from our members. To sum up my speech, I'd like to say thank you for giving me the opportunity to run for webmaster. And I promise if I were to get elected for this role, I will try my best to exceed everyone's expectations. I look forward to seeing you guys next semester and seeing the growth of our chapter. That was it, right? Yeah. All right. Thank you, Renato. Good speech. Time to make sure. Uh, <laughs> but it's uh, now we'll open it up to questions. So anybody uh, who's here, feel free to uh, give Renato a question. We'll give two questions. Cool. So Renato, uh, Grace, it's just a quick one here. Um, how do you plan on helping your other eboard members in your role while you're a webmaster? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. So. I plan on helping them, you know, of course, with regular webmaster duties as creating flyers for all their events and stuff like that. But I also plan on uh, being there to help them communicate with the, uh, whatever companies or schools they need me to contact to help set up the event details. And I'll also want to be able to attend all of their committee meetings and help produce new ideas for any events that they have going on. 
But honestly, besides that, I just want to try to help wherever I can. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? I have a question. Um, so you mentioned in your speech that you plan on expanding uh, the ship merchandise. And from my experience from working with Vic, um, designing merch isn't really that easy because you have to work with the vendors and then you have to come up with the money and find the right prices. So how are you going to go by um, planning all that out, including, you know, finding the extra funds for it, including extra merchandise? Uh, yeah, so I feel like if I were to get elected, uh, I definitely start planning this over the summer. Uh, so definitely start getting the ideas flowing, get a good estimate of how many ship members we currently have, like the usual statistics to how many people actually end up buying merch so we don't have to waste extra funds on buying extra merch. Uh, but I mean, besides that, uh, yeah, usually want to get a good uh, head start on that over the summer. Thank you. Thank you. And a round of applause for Nato.